G'day again from us sailing on Anakam. This episode, we sail from Middle Percy Island up through the beautiful Whitsundays and on to Bowen. While we're in the Whitsundays, we have some friends join us. Friends who used to be work colleagues to the both of us some years ago. So jump on board and enjoy the ride. Almost right at the start of this passage, we noticed a bunch of ships right on the horizon, only small dots to the naked eye. When we investigated the AIS and they were all sailing in formation, further investigation showed that they were all Australian warships, including the HMAS Canberra. With the lures in the water, we strike pay dirt again. Nice spotted mackerel. And just behind us is another yacht by the name of Kandu. So it's Regatta On. This was another beautiful day for downwind sailing as we headed towards Scorpel Island. The tropical sunsets are pretty special in this part of the world. Beautiful sheltered anchorage, we recommend Scorful. The tropical sunrises aren't half bad either, as we noticed another yacht leaving the anchorage just behind us. It turns out it was a sister ship to our Anakam. Another Bavaria 46 just heading into the sun. The call went out. All hands on deck as this crazy bunch of dolphins started riding our bow wave and they stayed with us almost for the whole day. We sailed through heaps of these algal blooms, or coral spawn, or whatever it is. There was just masses of it up here, but the water is very healthy. As it was getting late in the afternoon, we decided to swing in behind Shore Island to spend a night in sheltered water. For your info, this is part of the Whitsunday group of islands.
The next morning, we sail up through the Whitsunday Passage and into Airlie Beach to catch up with our friends. Catch up with our friends, Terry and Ian, for some sundowns in an Airlie Beach Yacht Club. The very next day, they were on board Anacam, out at Whitsunday Island in Sid Harbour, watching the beautiful sunset. Exile. We make landfall in McKenna on the iconic Whitehaven Beach on Whitsunday Island. It is very true when they say girls just want to have fun. The trees at the back of the beach were left shredded by severe Cat 5 Cyclone Debbie last cyclone season. This sand is pure silicates, almost as fine as talc. Another location, one would swear that you were living inside a postcard. No trip to the beach would be complete without a game of batonk. And Ian was declared the winner by two clear shots. It was time to head back out into McKenna and head back out to Anakin. We pick up a mooring for Anacam and head in to have a closer look at the South Mole Resort.
You've got to remember, this was a couple of years ago, and by the end of this cruising season, this was completely rebuilt. Even the jetty bore the brunt of the massive seas whipped up by the Cat 5 Cyclone. We make the walk from the Marine Rescue Harbour up to the shopping complex to catch up with Terry and Ian for lunch. Ian, better known as Daisy, Annie and myself all used to work for the same fire service from the same location in our past lives. <laughs> we said see you later to Terry and Ian and set our sails and our course for Shoalhaven Bay on Hook Island. With 20 plus knots of wind, Anna Cam was right in her happy place. We managed to pick up a mooring and found this place very sheltered from the prevailing trade winds. This fairly large schooner came into the bay just as we were leaving and it was loaded with backpackers and holiday makers. back around to drop the hook in Sid Harbour. Spot the turtle. We had plenty of these things swimming around Anakam. This really is a beautiful part of the world. We could sit back and relax and just feel the serenity. It was time to hoist the sails and make our course to Airlie Beach. We take Anna Cam into the Able Point Marina, into where the public wharf is, to fill our tanks up with beautiful, clean, fresh water. With our tanks full of water, we head back out to the anchorage. 
On our way back in, in McKenna, we spotted a familiar sight. The catamaran exhale with Fiona and Trevor on board. We first met these guys in Port Macquarie, way down on the mid-north coast of New South Wales. And believe it or not, Trevor had never owned a boat before in his life and he decided to build one. And this is what he built, a beautiful Granger catamaran. Almost forgot to mention they have a beautiful cat called Barney on board. Together, we all headed in to the Airlie Beach Market. And before we left Early Beach, Annie got a brand new do. With the brand new hairdo, we say see you later to Airlie Beach. We made our way north, stopping in places like Woodwark Bay, Double Bay and Nelly Bay. We always use a snubber on our anchor chain to take the pressure off the windlass. The further north we sailed, the more stunning the backdrop became. The sheer, rugged, rocky outcrops of the little islands and islands. The rainforest all blended in to give us some stunning scenery. Under reduced sail to slow Anakam down, we picked our way through the Gloucester Passage. And this is Shag Islet the home of the world famous Shaggers Yacht Club. We even had reasonable phone service for the mobile phones so Annie could talk to Cara. We dropped our anchor in Edgecombe Bay for the night. Another beautiful sunset. The next morning we set sail. Our destination 
will be power. We managed to duck under the power lines and pick up a mooring in the back boat harbour in the port of Bowen. We launch McKenna and head around to the public wharf. And Annie spots a baby on board a boat. We take the walk up into the town, the famous town where the film Australia had some of its scene shot. This place has some beautiful old Queensland hotels. We found one that served a really good counter meal. And the beer was pretty good too. And Bowen is the home of the big mango and the famous Bowen mangoes, the best ones on the planet. We found this beautiful memorial to the Catalina flying boats and just so happens that Annie's dear father was posted here during the Second World War. This was set up to be the Catalina flying boat base and not all of them came back from their missions. The Catalina is a flying boat, an amphibious aircraft that was produced in the 1930s and 1940s. In Canadian service, it was known as the Canzo. It was one of the most widely used seaplanes of World War II, and Catalina served with every branch of the United States Armed Forces and in the Air Forces and Navies of many other nations, including Australia. G'day everyone. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and the subscribe and we'll see you when we release the next video. In life, when one door closes, another opens. But we often look so long and so regretfully upon the closed door that we do not see the one that has opened for us. Cheers from us sailing on Anacam, and we'll see you all in the next video.